In this video, I want to talk about some of the differences in rail cars that might otherwise look identical, but there are some big differences, um, some nuances that uh, at least that I see in these cars. Okay, so here we have this PTTX 600750, uh, and we're going to compare that car to this one over here, TTDX912634. Um, these two cars look very similar. Well, actually, you know what? Before I compare those two, let's um, let's compare this car with the car next to it. They look that's PTTX nine one two nine five eight. So they're both, you know, nine one two series cars. You'd figure they would uh, they'd be uh, pretty close, but they're actually they're quite different. Um, this car here, you can see um, what I would notice pretty quickly is all the um, all the diagonal kickers all the way down you can see there's there's uh one two three there's like six six of those at least on this car hopefully the video can uh i'll come and walk a little closer so you can see those this car has a whole bunch of diagonal kickers okay that's one thing See those kickers right there? And then also, look up underneath here, those are all, it's like um, it's like a four by. That's like a four by eight or a three by eight for the longitudinals, okay? So that that's a big noticeable difference, okay? Is how many kickers and what kind of longitudinal it has, okay? So keep that in mind. It has a whole bunch of kickers and it has two tubes, uh, two tubes. Or longitudinals look at this car and this car doesn't have hardly any kickers right so it only has one here on the on the edge here but you can see there are really no more kickers now this, this side has a whole bunch of air brake parts so oh that side over there there's that car is kind of too close to that car's obviously completely different to flush deck uh, no, not enough room to look over there Well, I'll just get over here. Same area where I was in before. Okay, so this one has a kicker there. You can see it's a big kicker. Uh, it's a big solid kicker. Then there aren't any other kickers all the way until the middle of the car. So that's one big difference. Then also, if you look up, this car has a whole bunch of uh, latitudinal or transverse cross members. All the way down um, at least for this part of the car once we get to this after this first cross member here okay so then it has a bunch of W WTs three WTs to be exact one two three okay so this car and the first car are quite different okay so uh, just by looking at them that way, you can see that they're quite different. Um, whole bunch of kickers, W two U's for longitudinals. Only a few kickers, triple W T's for longitudinals. All right, now let me look at this car again. So this car has lots of kickers, two W two U's for longitudinals. Um, and let's look at, um, let's go back to this car over here now. So let's see if this car is more like the WTs or like the double U's, two U's. You can see there's a whole bunch of kickers. I'll go back to the same area. Okay, you can see there's two U's, a whole bunch of kickers. Okay, so, these two cars are very similar, that one over there, but there's one huge difference. Uh, actually, there's a inch and five eighth difference. Let me get my measuring tape. That has to do with the center sill. Okay, um, let me get my tape out. I can use that as a pointer. That's a, 
that's the center cell here okay you can see it's all the same height from from there all the way back it's nice one nice smooth straight line all the way to this is called the um the body bolster okay you see the body bolster wraps up and around here uh the, the center plate so this so the center sill this center sill here has two elevations it has one elevation from you know from the deck here to here then you can see a transition to a deeper section so, so this would be two different elevations okay now this one i'll measure it it should be right about 12 and three quarters you can see there hopefully you can see it's about 12 and three quarters okay 12 and three quarters and it's gonna be 12 and three quarters all the way down i'll measure it over here as well you can see Hopefully it says 12 and 3 quarters on there. I can't see it from here. Okay, so, and it's straight all the way down to the end cell. The end cell is that last plate over there. Looks like they're getting run ready to load a rail car over there. So let's walk to this one here and see what this one looks like. Take a look underneath. down this way okay now look at this car look at that center sill you know just like the last one it's straight then it tapers down right to the butt to the deep section of the center sill body bolster wraps around underneath pretty common but look at that this has a bit of a dog leg here see how that gets it gets taller now here it should still be 12 and 3 quarter and there it should be somewhere like 14 and 3 eighths which should be a difference of, uh, if I'm doing my math right, inch and 3 eighths. I'm sorry, inch and 5 eighths. Still has the WUs just like the last car does. Looks identical. Same X1, same X2, same everything else is the same but this is different over here. So let me take a measuring tape to it and we'll verify. Alright, so here and still we're, we're still at 12 and 3 quarter and over here we're at 14 and 3 eighths okay so uh, that's an inch and 5 eighths difference between the two rail cars so they're they're similar and we can use them to, to match them up but uh, on the other one we'll need to shim it up in order to match this car over here if we don't shim it this car will end up a little bit higher than the other one since the uh, bearing plate will sit over here. Now, if, actually, you know what? If I guess if you, um, if you were going to put your bearing plate somewhere over, over here in the, um, in the shallower section, then it would be the exact same tight height of the, as the other rail car. But if you plan on putting your bearing plate somewhere inside here or further back, then you're going to need to shim the other rail car if you wanted to marry it up to this rail car. Okay, so we would need an inch and five eighths shim on the other rail car to bring that deck up. We need to raise the deck up on the other rail car to match this deck. Okay, in other words, from uh, from here, from the deck, from the deck down on this one is going to be about 14 and, and uh, three eighths. We'll have to measure to the to the to the um, bottom of the steel. Um, so this one is 14 and three 14 and three eighths. And the other one is uh, is uh, 12 and 3 quarters. Okay, so if we were to marry the other one up right now, it would be it'd sit down an inch and three inch and five eighths lower than this car, and that probably wouldn't be a good idea. So shim the other one, inch and five eighths, and then it'll it'll be um, it'll be a good match. Okay. Um, let me see if I have another car style here. The one they're taking off right now is a triple WT. Those are all flush decks over there. That's a flush deck. Let's see. Oh, here's one over here. Let's see what this is. Ready side sill. Let's test your uh, listening skills and see if you can tell what kind of car this is. Can you tell what kind of car that is? So from here, I can tell you that's a 
triple WT because it doesn't have very many kickers, okay? Triple WT doesn't have very many kickers. And we can go check if you want. Let's go check to see what this is. And right here, we'll poke underneath. And there you are, triple WT, okay? And sometimes, like on this trip, you don't triple WT, you can see that the center sill does have a different elevation uh, outboard of the body bolster. So that uh, center sill height variance does occur on other rail cars. All, all those are over there, flush deck, flush deck. Let's go check one more car. See if we have another raised side sill. It's a flush deck over there. Flush deck. All right, here's another uh, raised side sail car. Let's see if you can tell what kind of car this is. Those are all flush decks over here. That's a flush deck. Oh, that's a drawbar there. Look at that. Kind of cool. Okay, what kind of car is this one? Can you tell? Well, that is a triple WT because it doesn't have very many kickers. Now let's check the center sill on this car. This one has a bit of a dog leg too there, so this is a triple height. Uh, center sill. So this is a perfect match to the other cars, other uh, triple WT cars. Alright, that's it. Hope that was helpful.